Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. Alright, so yeah, there is a super boss, I guess, and another one that I probably kind of consider like a, a minor super boss, if you will, but for the most part, I'm just going to try to focus on the main one, and if I've got time, I'll show the other one as well. So, the main one is indeed in the Sky Fortress, so here we are at the Mirage Tower, so let's uh, head on up, and yeah, as far as I'm going up... Uh, I'll basically just be running from everything, and I'll only fight what I have to, like the the blue dragon fixed encounter kind of thing. So yeah, all right. So I'll head up to where we need to be, and I'll meet you there. All right, we made it to the top of the tower, uh, Sky Fortress, and yeah, I had decided to do it off screen, just grinding out the uh, encounters to the point where. If I take one more step, I should run into the uh, the super boss. So yeah. All right, so on the way up, well, obviously between um, Temple of Fiends and coming here, I did restock on heals and all that stuff, but obviously, well, I had to use one coming up here because I did get poisoned, uh, but I did use the tent downstairs kind of thing, so, yeah. But uh, everything else, uh, yeah, we did go back through the uh, Temple of Fiends to get the Masamune for Matt there, as I said I would, and, uh, yeah, just to show you that we are still sitting with the same equipment. As expected, I did go through and get all of the treasures uh, when I did that as well, so, yeah sitting with the same equipment that we did at uh, when we fought uh, chaos so yeah uh here's the uh, stats yeah uh i think the only fight i actually did have to fight was the blue dragon uh, fixed encounter so everything else i just ran from so yeah so i just to show you that my stats are the same maybe different experience maybe a different uh, level up that we got kind of level ups that we got so yeah but in any case uh, it's uh, very much comparable, so yeah, and I'd use a cure here to get Luke caught up, but uh, yeah. Oh, uh, one thing I probably could mention before doing this is if you want to be a bit of a, take this like on a, a purist route, you could get the heal 3 spell. Um, I'm probably going to avoid using the heal 2 spell unless it's absolutely dire that I you know use it kind of thing. Um, or I may just only use this if... Uh, and then use this and then use that as one of the casts of the level 7 spells here. Because Cure 4 is going to be invaluable in this fight and so could Heal 3 depending on uh, one particular attack that the super boss has. So yeah. But for the most part I'm probably just going to try and rely on Cure 4. Probably use Fog 2 as well. Uh, Ruse will not have much of an effect. You have to cast it a lot. Plus there's only three characters that can actually you know cast it kind of thing. So I may just rely on Fog 2 and just try to dull the pain so to speak of its uh, attacks of its physical attacks so yeah um and i think that's yeah that's you that's you and yeah so all right let's see what awaits us and there it is the war mech war mech has 1000 hp so yeah the same amount of hp that tiamat had so yeah <laughs> Two bosses on this floor, but anyways, all right, so this thing has an attack of 128, and it hits twice. So, yeah, uh, using the, and its hit percentage is high enough to where you'd have to cast Ruse multiple times to be able to get one of those hits down, kind of thing, and possibly even get it to the point where it doesn't hit you at all. So, rather than that, I, it's only a 1,000 HP, and I kind of want to get out of this fight as quickly as possible, so yeah, I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to try to use Fog 2, and hopefully that reduces the damage enough to, uh, you know, well, the more we cast it, the easier it'll get kind of thing, so yeah. But yeah, going to avoid Ruse for now, but since Mark doesn't have much to do right now, I'm just going to have him attack. For Matt, I'm going to have him cast Fast on Mark. And yeah, so Matt did get hit with the, uh, the 225 there, so I'm going to have John use Cure 4. So let's have Luke use the first Fog 2. And then Cure 4 from John, and let's see how this goes. But yeah, the one special attack, he's got a 25% chance of using it each time. Oh! That was too close. Yeah, 100 it has a 25% chance of using it for you know, each round kind of thing. So, yeah. Oh, Cure 4 is so good. Anyways, uh, and what do I want to do here? Um, you know, I'm going to have you attack. You, yeah, use fast on that. And for you, I'm actually sitting in a good spot because we got the, the cure. Matt got hit. 
uh, before we got the cure for off, so we've actually got nobody to heal right now, so. Um, yeah, she was fucked too. I was thinking about using the fade, but no, no I'm not going to risk it on this thing. I do want to try and get out of this with everybody alive. That's all. Intact. But yeah, if you were to fight this thing coming up here when you fought Tiamat, it is possible to defeat it. Um, it just... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you kind of do need a strategy. But yeah, should be almost done. Um, you know what? I'm going to use a Cure 3 on here, just in case. And I'm going to use a Cure 4 as well. Just to make sure... Double the chances of at least one of them getting off. And down it goes. Oh, yeah. So, Warmech is actually physically stronger than Chaos was. <laughs> Chaos, if you recall, only had 100 attacked and he hits twice. So, yeah. So, yeah, for the the spoils of defeating Warmech is 32,000 gold and 32,000 experience split amongst your party members. So, yeah. We have defeated Warmech. And we've got plenty of time. So, let's uh, go looking for that other... Uh, creature that I'd probably kind of consider a uh, somewhat of a super boss. I mean, not really, definitely to a lesser extent. It's just it's got the highest uh, HP of any overworld encounter. So yeah. All right, so let's get out of here, and I'll uh, and I'll uh, do the same thing as I did up here. I'll progress the random encounters until I have to take one, and only need to take one more step before I face it. And uh, yeah, so I'll uh, meet you down there. Alrighty, so the area we're looking at where to run into this particular creature is basically where we are, uh, around the Mirage Tower, uh, the, the whole desert, you can run into it, and a few of the outlying areas in the, the woods uh, to the east there, you know, that lead to uh, um, Lafayne, and then the little bit of grassy area to the northwest of the desert there, yeah, just uh don't go too far in, just basically, just try to uh, stay within range of the, the desert, so to speak. So, yeah. That's basically where you run into it. It's a 1 in 64 encounter. And, yeah, basically just... what To give you an idea of what 1 in 64 is like percentage-wise, you would have to, on average, go through at least a minimum of 44 battles before you have a 50% chance of getting that encounter. <laughs> So, yeah, 44 battles means a 50% chance of getting it, so, and if you, even if you were to double it to, like, uh, uh, 88 or so, it, even then it only goes up to, like, 75% chance kind of thing, so, yeah, but we're here, one more step, and I should run into it, and, yeah, let's go this way, and there it is, the T-Rex. The T-Rex has 600 HP. It is the highest HP pool of any overworld encounter. So, yeah, and I do believe you only run into one of them. So, yeah, kind of like a, a mini-boss, if you will. Uh, so, yeah, 600 HP, at attack of 115. Uh, it only hits once. It has a defense of 10, magic defense of 100. Not weak to anything, no resistances, and no special attacks. He just, well, all he's got is his teeth and his claws. So, let's uh, go at this. Probably won't need fast, but, uh, you know, I kind of do want to uh, take the edge off of it. Uh, yeah, still. Fog too, just because, yeah, we've only got three people with access to cruise. So, yeah. All right. And I did actually, in the amongst doing that, obviously, we're in the area where there's, like, ankylos, red ankylos, that kind of stuff. So I did have to go back and forth the town a few times to, uh, while I was, you know, progressing the count, the random encounter. Uh uh, generator to the point where I got to this point, so yeah, I did have to go back to town after healing and all that kind of stuff a few times, so, but, uh, we're here, we're all healed up, and we're ready to go, I hope. <laughs> so, that's just do a fog too, and let's do another fog too, why not? Actually, you know what? Yeah. Market match should be able to handle it. Oh, Okay. Maybe we do need some cure for us. <laughs> well, Mark almost one-shot it, but Matt finished it off. <laughs> oh, that hurt. So yeah, 1800, uh, so 1800 experience, well, 7200 experience split amongst the party members and 600 gold to defeat it. So there we go. All right, and that is all as far as this bonus episode goes. And 
and uh, yeah, it's uh, but yeah. Obviously, I was in a situation where I could, I could walk, could have walked right onto the airship and fight it there. But yeah, I figured I'd yeah, leave it in the desert. But in any, it seemed a bit more appropriate. But who knows? Well, maybe for this game, maybe not for an actuality of the T Rex. But anyways, I actually don't know too much about the T Rex as far as you know. It's hunting habits. I feel like it would probably stay in like the forest or whatever. But anyways, enough about that. That, my dear friends, my dear viewers, is the end of this LP of Final Fantasy. I'm glad to have finally gotten this one off my chest because, like I said, it's all the way at the beginning. This is a, a, a an LP I've been wanting to do ever since I did the uh, the place the PlayStation remake of it uh, and the the party I used there. I've always wanted to come back and do my favorite party, the uh, the fighter, thief, red mage, white mage kind of thing, so basically swapping the uh, black belt for the thief kind of thing, and uh, yeah, my favorite party, and yeah, I hope you saw the, uh, um, uh, the enjoyment of it, just, you know, just not having to rely so much on spending tons of gold on equipment kind of thing. Basically being able to use uh, for extended periods of times the treasure that we, we were getting out of the chests, and yeah, whereas you know the other party we had to basically get two silver swords in Elfland for Mark and Luke or whatever to compensate for the you know the the developing black belts uh, physical abilities kind of thing. So yeah, this one I just find a bit more fun. You find treasure, you can use it, and uh, yeah, even then like even the the armors. Uh, well, once we got the class change, Matt could use a lot of the armor that Mac, uh, that Mark no longer had a use for kind of thing. So it was a lot of hand-me-down kind of st stuff going on. And uh, it was just, just overall, it's a, 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 it's a much more enjoyable experience for me in that regard. So, yeah. But in any case, thank you all so very much for watching. And uh, stay tuned for the next project coming down the pipes. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not head on over to the channel, see if there's anything there that can potentially earn your subscri subscription, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. But in any case, and until next time, thank you all so very much for watching. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.